Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Hearthstone. A little bit of arena advice. Yes, we are continuing on and enjoying the arena world. Now, like I've talked about, we actually played this deck last time, and last time, I believe, is yesterday, depending on when we release this. And, uh, we lost. <laughs> and the point is that I try, I want to, while we're playing this, this is kind of what I would call noob to a noob advice. The advice that somebody, if you have those questions that are super stupid or you're a little worried to ask, ask them here. I am a beginner. I've played a bunch of Hearthstone, and so I've got a, gen, a better than average grasp. I tend, when I play Constructed, I tend to be around, you know, rank 15, which is not a good rank in the slightest of, like, what's a good rank. But it's, um... The reason why I bring that up is because that is considered, actually, in the top 25% of Hearthstone. For whatever reason, they set that as their, their set. But um, I would consider that puts me at the noob, but, like, knowing what I'm doing <laughs> kind of thing. And, I mean, there's people who are really smart in Arena will blow your mind with some of the well-thought-out plans they have going with them. Uh, for one, let's actually get into some talk. Remember, what I talked about how turn two, you don't necessarily want to be using this. But here's an exception. And that is if he plays somebody, I heal him, and I hit. That's an exception. And this is completely taking advantage of this very well. Because now, we have access to a very strong character really early on. Well, crap. That's problematic, because this is going to become a 2-3 now. So, this is actually an interesting problem to be in. I'm trying to think of the right play that I would like to make. I think the play that I would like to make is to curve out. I.e. to set this up so that I have a good... Yeah, we're gonna do a Dark Cultist. This is pretty sweet because he's a 3 for 3-4. Three, awesome. Now, Harvest Golem's pretty good because when you kill him, they actually summons a 2-1. But the problem with the Harvest Golem is it's expensive for being a 2-3. If it was a 3-2, that would be a wicked card to take. But since it's a 2-3, not as much. Now I'm expecting him to strike this guy and then you to strike here. That's that's my hunch. Because this will keep this guy at the highest life, basically. Now, I wanna I'd play this guy next. But uh, we're in a bit of a problem. Two, two. And then I have nothing to accept this brilliant amount of uh, friendly minion stuff. However, it's going to force him to deal with this. He has to hit it. Now, and I mean, it sucks that I don't get to, you know, throw out this guy. And, but he would have just killed that guy anyway. And then what would I do? Heal myself? No, that's not a very strong turn. This will at least remove these two, and sure, this could be useful later on, and in fact, that's what makes Synergy so useful, is that you want to have that kind of use later on. Oh god. Well. Huh. Now, that's a 4-3 for 3. Hmm. Sexy. Alright, we're gonna take this opportunity now. No, you know what? We're gonna actually drop in Violet Teacher. This person, strong enough to take on both these people. Good. Cast a spell, we get a dude. Good there too. Uh-oh. <laughs> so True Silver is, so Paladin is considered the best uh, arena deck because they have so many good basic cards. I mean, this guy is a rare, it's true, but he's, you know, still kind of a basic dude. Um, there we go. This way we can at least keep up with these attacks. Uh, this is actually a pretty good card that I did not expect to be good here. I really, I rarely see this in constructed play. Uh, but it's actually, you know, pretty quality uh, vehicle to attack. Uh-oh. Things are getting messy. Ooh. Ooh, things are getting messy indeed. So let's... Huh. Right, I'm going to remove this guy. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get hit by a noble sacrifice. And then this freaking thing. Oh man, this is this is taking some pain. All right, let's get this guy out. Hmm. Now, do I want a tiger or do I want this? Now, this is really cool because it gets charged for four out of five. Three is a great option. 
but I think I would like to have a 3-2 right now being put out, because especially one with this death rattle. This will handle every single one of these cards. This guy will handle every single one of these cards. Whew, that's scary. Next turn, that's coming out. Hmm. And he's going to be able to take a dude out by just smacking him. So far, things are going pretty poorly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! Oh, no, indeed! Huh. I feel like this is a... <laughs> this absolutely feels like to me a um, I like parody of how to play Hearthstone correctly 9 11 because it's like I'm I'm trying to provide advice and I'm just getting my ass handed to me oh man and it is going poorly now, one thing is, I was playing a bunch of Constructed recently, and when you, you know, you play Constructed, it's definitely a different mindset. And then you go back to the lock and skill and stuff like that. Truth but people who know what they're doing... Well played. Well played. No! <laughs> Players who know what they're doing... Uh, you know, like, tend to do very, very, very well when they're playing an arena. But Kublai Khan providing advice to you. Oh man. I think the biggest story that we're coming out with this too, I'm hoping at least is how people are looking at it, is that it's a game that luck does get involved. And you're gonna lose, and that's okay. It's fine to lose when you're playing these. It can be embarrassing when you're trying to do an arena advice bit. But, uh. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Okay, so. Perhaps we should just change the subject, you know? Let's stop talking about arena advice and things. Talk about something else going I'll on. Do it. Let's vlog Versus a little bit, Algerian. shall we? <laughs> I must protect oh, the man. Yay! <laughs> As we can see in arena, the best way to win is just let your opponent give up right when you start playing. That's the best way to win. Every other way, nobody's as leet as that. That is the most leet. <laughs> Jeez. Um, anyway, yeah, maybe we'll just talk about some other things. Let's see. Um, hmm. You know, I was ta watching uh, a couple other Hearthstone players who were talking about this, and this is something that I'm sure if you guys watch Hearthstone, you're choosing to watch me. It's because you just like watching me or whatnot. Thank you, by the way. You're amazing I'm for doing, doing that. This. But my point is, is that I want to talk about uh, what was discussed by one of my favorite Hearthstone guys, Day9. He was talking about jobs and interviewing for jobs. Let's talk about that. So, ooh, we got our uh, explosive sheep. Now, the thing is, is job interviews are an amazingly greeting, stupid thing in a way. Um, I greet you. Let's say someone wanted to hire you for. Let's take something, you know, kind of chill. Someone wanted to hire you for... Are you going to play another one? Oh, wow, you are. Well, the correct next choice. Oh, he's going to hit me for six and put us in the exact same boat, but, you know, kapow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Things are looking down. Things are looking very down. Uh, okay. Um, I kind of want to throw this guy out there to see if he can fling a shot into him. Or I was going to throw this guy out here and heal and maybe fling a shot into him. Let's, uh, like this. Like this. Let's do this. So we get a card out of it, too. We're gonna take the silver back. Nothing. Crap. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was gonna just... You're not gonna smack us in the nose? Oh, okay. 
That's a stupid choice if I've ever thought of one. But all right, you know, to, to each their own, I guess. Since I can heal, you know, I can get back up. Anyway, a, a job interview is an amazingly um, in uh, like in like fail. What's the word I want to go? Incapable thing to make a, the correct judgment. Uh, attack five or more. Dang it. Um. Well, hold on. Let's see. Hit him. Oh crap. Uh, then we'll play you. Hopefully it doesn't have a hellfire. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't have a hellfire. Um, and the reason why is because you're spending like an hour or two to decide if this person was going to fit with the entire culture of a company. Typically the answer to that is, it's kind of hard to just fit your entire culture in a company like that. I mean, it's very difficult. Here we go, we're just gonna keep pushing like this. Nice. Get a little trumpeter going there. Um, hold on, let's see. Check this out. Play. Play. Hit this guy. Perfect. Heal this guy. Hopefully it'll cause him to shoot that guy after he hits this guy and we're good. We'll see. Um, and that's something that was pretty interesting to me because uh, I've interviewed a lot. Oh god, that's problematic. I've interviewed for a lot of different jobs. And it's tough, you know? Like, jobs are a difficult thing. Hold on, how do I want to play this? Yeah, you're gonna hit you. And you're gonna die. And I guess I'm gonna heal me and see if this hits him. Okay. Worked out. Um, the, because I've been on many interviews and you're getting to know someone. If you interview well, they like you. They think you can do the job that they're trying to hire you for. But really, uh, there was something like only... F an interview is only like 5% uh, of the time going you're to show you the now. correct outcome. Um, and what I mean by that is going... Only 5% of the time is it going to show you who... Yeah, you know what? We're going to do this. Behold, the might of Baldwin. Nice. Perfect. Has to hit here. Um, and so it becomes this really fascinating problem that... Whoa. I guess he can get rid of my Stormwind? That's scary, that's for sure, but that's like... Oh, goodness me. Hold on. Yeah, yep, that's the play. Get a Mookla in here. Um, fortunately, we can't use this yet. So let's do this. And this. There we go. So, let's see. He can't use that ability now. Um, he can't remove everybody on the fields with what he has already on the field. Um, I was thinking about actually killing this guy. Might have been the right choice, but this ensures that this guy can't kill anybody anyway. Um... I might have made the wrong wrong move again. Yeah, that could be a problem. Oh. He's not doing anything up there that I can see. Hmm. So many possibilities. Oh. If it hit any of these, that could have could have worked better. You gotta make a decision soon, dude. Power overwhelming? Yep. Hmm. I made the wrong decision. Can he heal himself? Nobody can do a taunt. And a charge. Oh, God. 
Well, that's definitely the turn, the thing we're doing. You know, maybe the charge would have been a good choice too. He's gonna heal me. This is a really interesting thing that this we're stuck in right now. Definitely has the better board, but can't use their hero power anymore. Um, and uh, that's terrifying. Clearly in a tough situation. Huh. Anyway, so with the job situation, um, now it's because of that. I think my favorite job applications have ever been. Oh no! It's gonna hit a random enemy. Um, my favorite job things that I've actually been a part of uh, involved. Oh no, dude! Oh no! <laughs> Poor guy! Oh man! <laughs> Bummer. Well played. Well played. Good try. So because of a terribly cheap outcome, we've actually managed to catch up to three wins, and so we've now broken even. Wait, that was two? Oh no! I speak so soon! Alright, well we have to finish this up then. Um, God, I thought I was so proud of myself. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, in the case of the job thing, it's, you know, the best interviews come across when you are actually doing either pro showing a project, like, I applied to a company, and you can see on my channel that I actually made a video for them. I actually said, hey, this is, you know, I'm Kublai Khan, and I am I want to be a community manager with for your company, so here's what it looks like when I do a, a live filming of me playing a game. And that was one of the things that was part of the, the company's request. They wanted somebody who could deal with Twitch, do YouTube, and so I'm like, here, look, I have a channel, I do it. So I made the video and I put it out there, and that makes it really easy for them to look at it and go, all right, is this guy, is Kublai the dude for us? Um, and so the thought process is that if Kublai is not the dude for us, immediately we, they can make that decision and be like, all right, so clearly he's crazy or something. He's 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 insane. We don't want him. Or he doesn't have enough experience. Or he doesn't have enough camera presence. Whatever those things are. Now, if I just sent an application to them, it's possible they would have looked at it and uh, gone, meh, and just flipped through it because they didn't see that I did things. Uh, what I did to I kind of check to see if my application was check uh, seen. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. This is actually pretty good. You play this guy, this is really a 3-4. For three, just you summon a boar. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of want to do this because then we can get a huge forward push early on for some of these dudes that we have out here. Uh, we don't have any spell damage though. You know what? Let's let's do a dude. Let's get a, another guy out here. So uh, another way that you know, so when you're doing this interview, if you have a project and you have something to show a company, you can go. I know what I'm doing. Look at this. This is how I typically handle these projects. What do you think of it? Oh, do I want to do that guy? You know what? Let's get this person out. Because this is pretty cool of an option, and this is scary, too. Uh, I mean, he could get killed faster. Uh, still would get killed here, so that's really not that big of a deal. Ooh, do we want to do dancing? You know what? Let's do, let's do this guy. Ooh, we don't have any pirates. This could be nice. I think let's go with the core hound. Something very powerful. Let's go right past the uh, that dude because what it doesn't matter. He's just gonna turn into somebody else. Uh, anywho, so in the interview, it does really help with that. But it's that's why when they're looking at experience, for example, they're trying to say, hey, someone who's done this job before. Somebody else thought they knew what they were doing, so we can trust their decision. Uh, that's kind of, you know, that, that thought process. We can trust that person's decision because they already had someone working with them. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I'd rather play this and lose these two dudes. Interesting. Uh, so, now... 
that's where experience gets interesting because a lot of jobs say you have to have experience before you can apply well to them. Met. Well, that's not exactly what they mean. They are looking for some form of, um, you know, example that you know what you're doing. And that's hard to communicate. Uh, let's see, how should I do this? Dark cultist. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's overload these dudes. Just put out an army, got something going. You know, we're just kind of waiting until we get to drop this guy. And then if he has anything big, we can take it. So that'll work. Especially druids tend, to, or yeah, druids tend to have a lot of large baddies that you have to deal with. Um, so what I'm talking about is you can kind of get past experience if you're able to show projects you've worked on. Because uh, experience, let's say, you know, they want to see you work at something for two, three years. That's great. You know, I've worked with that. You have proof you worked for the company and that kind of thing. And so they trust that company because they wouldn't pay you, quote unquote, if uh, you didn't have the quality experience to deserve it. Then, th but the thing is, is if you necessarily haven't had the job, the way that you show you have the ability is that you do it yourself. Um, if you are like, I'm trying to become a community manager for like a gaming company. I think that's really cool. I like the idea of playing games and streaming and doing stuff like that. So I go out and I say, hey, I, you know, like, look, I made these videos. Um, I also use that for when I'm interacting with uh, a company to like, just at, in general, what's the word for? You're gonna make this guy pretty powerful, aren't you? Yeah, look at that dude, he's rocking it. Okay, um, we could throw this guy out now, but I don't feel like he's gonna do as well. So let's, uh, let's do something crazy. Huh? How's... Do something crazy. Enjoy my 410 Mesedic Swamp Ooze. Boom. So... That's why we have an Entomb. That's why we have an Entomb, baby! Woo! Oh man, that just feels good to have that there. Oh god, yes. This is... This is sexy. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That's mine. Oh, yes. And now if I get to play it. Oh. Anywho. Um, so we have, uh, you know, trying to show people that you create quality, whatever. Oh. Oh, no. How much does, is this going to hurt? Oh, boy, I'm sorry. Not terribly sorry, but a little sorry. That's so... I had that happen to me. I was playing uh, a paladin, and I put... I was a secret paladin in an arena. I found... I got a mysterious challenger. I got four secrets. Was it enough? It still was not enough. It's... The poor guy. Just kept dealing with that. Oh man. What are you get what are you gonna deal with, man? I can heal these guys, you know? Like you know what? Come on. Deal with that too. Man. Oh. Oh, that is rough. And it basically and I got my him out, but he he and then I got a the mysterious challenger into like a 310 level of power but like that didn't work it's just sad you know sometimes these things are just sad oh, that's the play right there hit him hit him boom if you'll smart if he's smart he'll hit this on his own right now dude you could have caught caused the explosion It sucks, man. It sucks. I know. Oh god. <laughs> this is this is the champion right here. Oh man, just turning this beast into just this powerhouse. Yeah, you can try, man. You can try, but you know you're gonna get hurt for 13 damage right now. And you have a pit fighter. Let's see. Man. Hmm. 
I'm trying to think if there's any trick I want to do. Like, do I want to pull this guy out? Because they can kill him. Um, do I want to... You know what? Let's, let's just heal up. And, uh... We'll hold on. We're, we'll stick with this right now. Because this is this is hard to remove. Like, and then... Oh, uh, it looks like he gave in. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh my god, dudes. What are we gonna... What are we gonna do? With me, friend. Put this apple on your head. He played motherfucking Deathwing. Job's done. So he has to kill one of these guys, pretty much. Um. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ouch is all I have to say. But still, we won. <sighs> that guy is so mad. He had that giant tree taunt dude. He had the the giant giant? It was a giant! And then he had Deathwing. And then he got the little robo out. Oh. That guy is so pissed. Oh, I'd be, I was pissed on my old things too. Hold on, let's take a moment to look at this. I went to just my screen. Oh. Oh. You gotta stick with it. That's the, there you can just stick with it. There are some good plays, there are some good choices. I, for me personally, I consider three wins a success because that is where... Uh, so the, the way that arena works is you go... One, you go, no wins, you still get a prize. You still get at least a deck, but you might be lo but And then you might get some dust. One win, deck, you might get some gold, like 30. Um, but you, you're the losing 20 gold, technically. Two wins, you can potentially break even, where you get 50 gold back. Or, you won't, but you'll be closer to it. You'll like miss five gold or something. And maybe get like 20 or 30 dust, might, or if you don't get the gold. If you get three wins, you're at least breaking even, or you're going above. You're getting five gold for doing it. You're getting extra dust for doing it. So the trick is when you're doing arena, is it, it will always be three wins for you to at least be making more than if you played constructive. Is my point. If you do, if you bought a something in destruct uh, destructed destruction, if you bought you know a, something for a hundred gold in constructed uh, a pack or something and played it, that hundred gold requires you to at least win three wins in arena to kind of e for sure to equal out the value of that hundred gold. If you start getting past three wins, which getting higher than that is not insane. It's in fact. Getting up to 12 is a thing, you know? Like, they, if you get up above that, the amount of gold that you get is insane. Now, you gotta be skilled. and But you don't necessarily have to be paying any money into Hearthstone to get that way. You just keep playing Arena and keep doing it and keep getting the gold back and playing Constructed sometimes if you're, you know, your um, uh, dailies don't line up with whatever your Arena is. And it works out. So anyway, I hope that this was somewhat educational. Uh, it's almost jokingly not educational with how many times I was losing. The only reason I got here is because somebody killed themselves. Oh, man. But then we had a great game. Great final game for this to line up. Man, that guy was totally pissed. Anyway, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you have any questions Hearthstone-wise, please let me know down below. I'm happy to answer them. If you liked what you saw, thank you so much for being here. If you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you so much for doing so. It's a joy to have you here. And I really appreciate just you helping out the channel. So thank you. It's a total joy. Anyway, the grandmaster to meet your feet. The window is beat your back, and the sun shone warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.